my boy. Oh yes, it's a different greeting, hey. I've known Bobcat, how long boy? About 12, 13 years now. This guy will come up, he'll greet you, he'll lie down, put your head there. He'll literally fall asleep like that. It's amazing. Yeah, he's, he's an incredible animal. Okay, just before I leave, I've got something special for you. This is a catnip. Now Bobcat's having a heart. So for all of those people who say I drug my lines, they, they're right. I do. <laughs> Explain why baby hyenas scare you more than baby lions. Yeah, hyenas uh, are born uh, fully mobile. They're born with a full set of deciduous teeth, so they got their canines um, and, and their incisors, not, not their molars, but these are the teeth that can inflict damage. Mm -hmm. Strong as hell jaws, and they can see. And you offer the best chin tickles in the world. <laughs> you see? And like that, you can start to um, kind of win them over again. Get away, you. You are naughty. You're Why? Naughty. This, is the, um, this is a wild female. OK. Yeah, so she can inflict a bit of uh, serious damage. I've been bitten um, uh, enough times in my youth to understand uh, the signals and the signs. But they're always together and they're always marauding, and they're always sniffing, and they're always thinking, and they're always scheming. No, you're gonna claw me. Ah, da, da, da. <laughs> Jeez, oh my God. How much does that hurt? A lot. No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> takes the day. <laughs> well, I mean, if I've got this can like this, my hand is fair game. So these are nothing compared to what would happen. They would just grab my hand and pull it to the ground. Ah, mind your pull. They're crazy, yeah? Crazy, 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 yeah. You see how the smaller one dominates? It's incredible, why do you let him do that? So this is the kind of behavior that you're wanting with him. Um, which kind of gives him a, a feeling of being a lion out in the bush, you know? Marking his territory and scent rubbing. He's got scent glands all in his face here. That he's rubbing on the tree, trying to make himself look as tall as possible. So that's, that's his function. You'll see the girls are all about having, uh, having fun and running around. It's quite intimidating when he walks past, eh? when they're out here on the walks, what do they like doing? Uh, so the girls like uh, jumping on each other and, and stalking and, and chasing and all of that kind of stuff. There's a typical rolling. Now they're rolling in, uh, in scents of, of different animals and smells that they, they come across. So this enclosure is meant to actually be free of, of the game. But I have no idea how they get in here, but they get in here. So, is it better for you if they do get in? I mean, to give them well, interaction I mean, with... Uh, they can get away. I mean, it's a big enough area to run away, so I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. If they do catch something, it's because they, they've earned it. Is he there? No wonder you've been so quiet. He's, so he's eaten the back leg, but he'll eat, uh, he'll open it up and he'll eat the innards and the liver, he'll eat the organs, he'll eat the intestines, way before he eats anything else. How happy is he right now? Uh, he's very happy. You can imagine for him, I mean, he's doing what he does naturally. So Vaetsi was from that uh, industry, um, from uh, the tourism sector. And uh, yeah, so when, when I started to understand more in depth what was going on. And uh, I realized that this is not really why I got involved. I got involved because I dig these animals. Right. And so when I started to find out that, you know, th there's a problem with this whole perpetual breeding because ultimately you have surplus. And when you have surplus animals in a closed system, there needs to be an outlet. And 
Unfortunately, in, 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 in South Africa, the outlet is hunting. So a lot of these lions that are like Vayetzi would have landed up being trophy hunted in what's called a canned lion hunt. I hate to anthropomorphize lions because they don't think like us. Uh, the moment you start to catch yourself um, humanizing them, you need to stop. Um, because that's when you can start to lull yourself into this false belief that there's this love <laughs> you know, going on. And uh, they don't work like that. <laughs> She's going to stalk her. This is quite fun. Lie flat in the grass, hopefully she won't see me. And three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> so predictable. You all just lie down. <sighs> you almost lose perspective over like the danger that's involved with something like that because it just looks so normal when he's doing it. Hard work being a lion. <laughs> <laughs>